Hi, I'm Tamsin, and this is the video bonus for the English Sound Building podcast episode 3, A and E. In this video bonus, we're going to look at a couple more tongue twisters for practicing the A and E sounds. But before we do, I just wanted to quickly repeat how to make the sounds, because I know that for some of you, it will help you to see what my mouth is doing. So in the podcast, I explained that the E sound is usually the easier of the two to make. Obviously, this will depend on your language background. In the E sound, your tongue is in mid position in your mouth, which means it's neither very low, nor very high, nor very far back, nor really far towards the front. When you're first practicing the sound, it helps for your lips to be wide like you're smiling. Um, and this will help get the right tension to get the E, 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 E sound. If you're more used to making this sound, you'll find that you can make it barely stretching the lips into the smile at all. E, E, E. As you'll see, I do need to keep a little tension, but I don't need to exaggerate it to get the E sound. If you do need to exaggerate it, don't worry. It's nice that somebody looks like they're smiling. Eh, eh, eh. To make the ah sound, and this is the sound which I find that my learners tend to find more tricky to make because they find the exaggeration very much compared to any sound that they might be used to making in their language. Um, this sound is a front vowel but still I find that the main thing which people need to practice is keeping the tongue really low in the mouth and opening the jaw up really wide to help with that ah, ah, ah. And I'm going to let you see inside my mouth now now to see the difference in tongue position between the ah and the eh and you should see how with the ah the whole of the tongue is much lower in my mouth. Ah, eh, ah, eh, ah. As I said, it can help to really open up your jaw and you may like to hold a hand or a pen under your chin so you can feel that jaw dropping. Ah, ah, ah. But again, if you're more used to making this sound, eventually you'll find that you don't need to drop the jaw in such an exaggerated way. You can make the sound just with the tongue position in your mouth. So watch me switch between the two and you'll see how little movement there is. Ah, eh, ah, eh, ah. And the place I feel most movement when I do that is in the back of my tongue. Ah, eh, ah, eh. Okay, on to our tongue twisters. Now, as I've said in previous video bonuses, the secret with tongue twisters is not only to read them once, but to try to read them three times, at least as quickly as possible to really challenge the muscles in your mouth. The first two tongue twisters are practicing the E eh sound. Number one, Fred fed Ted bread and Ted fed Fred bread. Fred fed Ted bread and Ted fed Fred bread. Fred fed Ted bread and Ted fed Fred bread. Fred fed Ted bread and Ted fed Fred bread. Number two, many merry moments make men mischievous. 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 And the third practices the A ah sound. A boot black blacks boots with a black blacking brush. A boot black blacks boots with a black blacking brush. A boot black blacks boots with a black blacking brush. A boot black blacks boots with a black blacking brush. That one is so tricky. Not only the a ah sound, but the other vowel sounds in there, and in particular the b and the bl clusters make it a real challenge, at least for me. How did you find it? I hope you enjoyed those tongue twisters. If you are able to record yourself reading them and repeating them, it's a fantastic way to listen back to your sounds and practice. Have fun sound building until next time and thanks for watching.